All right, have and have not fans. This is the 10th and final video that I plan to record today. Whew. But hey, I figured get this done now. That way it'll be a strong start to this week. Uh, Chandler and I pretty much dis dissected this in quite some detail on the live stream. And it actually makes a lot of sense. Like uh, we do know in upcoming episodes for whatever reason, it seems that even though Candace and Charles seem to be getting closer, at some point, Candace is going to be forcibly dragged from the room that Charles is in and most likely goes back to Hannah's house. And that's when Hannah's, uh, uh, Candace is like, you were right about what? About everything. So one could imagine that Candace is probably referencing not just the fact that Charles kicked her to the curb, but also the fact that, you know, what everything Hannah said up until that point has come to pass, like, all the evil you do is going to come back on you. Like everything you gain through ill gotten means isn't going to last long. And hell, even uh, she said in the hospital, like, you know, with her by your side, it'll be four years, maybe three, two. I think and I think me and Chandler kind of got a balance here where and I, I think I even mentioned it before. And I think it goes back to the video I did about it. Why is Charles um, wait, turning his back on Candace and um. I think it has to do with Ch Candace possibly finding out the truth about Charles or Charles finding out that the truth about Candace has been basically all the work Landon did to clean up Candace's past. Scott, the guy that Kyle sent down to Savannah to get dirt on Candace, found things that would just destroy her reputation. Well, I wouldn't say destroy her reputation because nobody really likes her anyway at the White House, but it, that would expose her past to everyone. And that could just destroy. I mean, yeah, Charles might get into the White House, but it would just make things way worse. It's almost like, you know, when you're dating someone who isn't high up on the social, I guess you could say, totem pole. And you feel like your own reputation would be diminished if it was found out that you were dating so-and-so. Or hell, even going back to when, they, uh, when Candace was a kid, Hannah said that, you know, because I was in my maid outfit, walking you to school as I was about to go to work, you would just say, don't drop me off at school. I'll walk myself because you were embarrassed. Maybe the same thing happens where Charles finds out that the FBI has, the, basically the president's political party has their hands on this damning information. And then they would just use that to cripple anything Charles would do. So if anything, one can make the argument that if Candace stays with Charles, then Charles could be in the white house. But with all this dirt, they could probably make it so, yeah, Charles, you won. But guess what? You're going to do exactly what we tell you to do or we're just going to reveal all this uh, info to the general public. That would suck. But you could also make the argument, and that's what we talked about on the live stream. Do you think Charles is protecting Candace? Because it's almost like, you know, if you don't do what we say, we're going to go after the girl. And it it, it isn't just the fact of... um. Charles protecting his own reputation, but he's doing this to protect Candace because if he doesn't do, do what the opposing po political figures want, they will destroy her reputation. Maybe it's not just maybe it's not so much her life, but her reputation on the streets. Kind of like you know what Jim said to Celine. It's like, look, when you decided to get your ass on national television and reveal our affair and our two kids, you made it so no man on this earth will want anything to do with you. We had a nice agreement set up, but you decided to step out on it. So yeah, Celine's reputation was shot. Maybe Charles doesn't want something similar to happen to Candace. I mean, we're, we were trying to give Charles the benefit of the doubt. And I've already done a video on this about, you know, will Charles choose the White House or Candace? Where I say that, what if he decides to just throw this all away and just be with the one he cares about as opposed to being in a White House full of people who just hate his guts. It's just one of those things where we just never know. But we do know in the near future, those two will get closer. But I do feel like in that episode, Second Chances, it was already revealed in the episode synopsis that Scott is building his case against Candace. The guy from the FBI is getting dirt on Candace. And I feel like that explains why the FBI is chasing RK through the halls of the Artesian Hotel because they know RK is within their inner circle. I think the most damning evidence is if they get proof that Candace was the one that shoved Oscar to his death out of the window and then Oscar was hired by the president's political team. And then if they use that information to reveal that Candace is a freaking murderer, yeah, I doubt there's anything Charles could say or do at that point. 
So I think that Scott probably gets all this information, relays it to the president and Kyle, and then they say, look, we're going to destroy you if you don't get rid of her. So I think that not just for his own sake, but look, Candace, if you don't leave, they're going to reveal this to the public and you're going to be in jail for life. So the best thing I can do in this God awful situation is to cut you loose, meaning that Candace will have her freedom, but her heart is broken, but she's not going to be in jail for the rest of her life. If not possibly get the death penalty for killing Oscar. So I think that's possibly what Charles is doing to protect her because it looked like, you know, when she was dragged away, she kind of sits down with his head in his hands because he is hurt by the decision. It isn't one of those, Hey, clean up this mess. He's just like telling secret service to get rid of her. It seems like he really is hurt by the decision just based off the look on his face. So in my opinion, as well as Chandler's Charles probably protects Candace by pushing her away. Or we can be completely wrong and he's just an asshole. It's like, look, my reputation is bad enough as it is. I don't want you stinking up the place. Get out of here, Candace. But I think that's not the case. I think that he really wants her to be with him because, you know, those two play off each other well. And it would be nice to have somebody real on his side in the White House. So with that being said, do you think that Charles is protecting Candace by pushing her away? Subscribe to the channel. Trust me, videos like this come on a weekly basis, if not daily. Share the channel around to other have and have not fans. And uh, once again, happy Mother's Day to all the mothers. Congratulations on making it to the end of this video. If you like what you just saw, make sure to hit the thumbs up button. Or if you have anything you would like to add to the video, make sure to leave your thoughts in the comment section below. If you want to keep up with me on social media, go to the description box. All of my links for social media are right there. Also, if you feel like you would like to donate to the channel, make sure to click on the link to PayPal. Any amount helps, a dollar, five dollars, twenty dollars. As a full-time YouTuber, any support from my fans really does mean a lot to me. Finally, make sure to hit the subscribe button as well as the bell notification icon. That way you're kept up to date on any new content I post to the channel. Once again, thank you so much for tuning in and I'll talk to you in the next video.